thousand hotel rooms that will have a cost of roughly three billion dollars to complete, but also that laid dormant since 2008, mm -hmm. um, in large part because of the financial crisis and some other conditions. It's the only project I know in, the, in a major city in the United States that has laid dormant for the last 10 or 11 years. Why? All the reasons that you have cited. Poor US GDP growth prior to your administration coming in, pessimism among lenders and equity partners, and a prior administration that certainly, in my view, contributed by talking down Las Vegas. President Trump has changed all of that with the tax reform package and the overall fiscal stimulus that this package repre represents. The tax reform package, and I know it well, is chock, fill, chock full of stimulative features like expensing, which we haven't seen since the days of Ronald Reagan, opportunity zones, which is something not a lot of people are talking about, and I have to commend you because I think it's going to be invigorating in communities that need to see development, all of which are designed to encourage business activity. Overall, this administration's policies, which also include deregulation, has led to significant GDP growth. Positive business activity is made possible when government, private investors, and labor come together in a way that benefits everybody. Here, on this project, the Fountain Blue, which we will start construction, construction activity the, uh, in July of 2019, we will create approximately 11,000 jobs in Nevada. That's 3,500 construction jobs. And 7,000 permanent jobs. And we will create a solid investment for ourselves and thereby make a contribution to US GDP growth because of all of this and because of the President's policies. And I would mention one more point about the Drew. I lost my son Andrew to an opioid overdose years ago. The president came to his funeral and came to a shiva call, and I talk often about this, about his hug. And the Drew is named after my son Andrew. My family is gr deeply grateful to the president for taking on the fight against substance abuse, which is a pernicious problem and no one before him took it on. And I think, I think it's just nothing short of incredible. But when this project is finished, my family will dedicate a significant portion of its interest towards this substance abuse fight so that my son's death will always have meaning. In my view, it is President Trump who has created the conditions for all of these things to happen. So thank you for having me today. I am deeply grateful to you, Mr. President, for your tireless work, for your dedication to this country. It has been my blessing to have a close friendship with you for 30 years, and it is my honor to call you my president.